So take a look at this video. Not too impressive, it's just kind of a cool graphic. It's been around for a long time. It's a free video from pexels.com. Now take a look at this. Or this. Yes, that's right. These are super, super cool. And the way we're able to modify this is through Unicorn Studio, which is a no-code approach to integrating shader effects into your web projects. And they just integrated the ability to import video. And the video can now interact with the shaders. And as you can see, you can massively change the end re output based on the video that you have. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna show you just a few of the different effects and how we can very quickly alter the entire appearance of the video through Unicorn Studio. All right, so here I am with a brand new project inside Unicorn Studio. And the first thing to do is right up here, it's under effects and you have to type in video and then click it. Now by default, it's gonna have this video that's already rocking. And if you come over here, source URL, this is where we specify the video file. And I obviously you can't upload videos to the actual platform yet. So it has to be uploaded. So you need a host of some sort. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste in this one right here, which comes from pexels.com, P-E-X-E-L-S.com. It's a free video. And as you can see, it's not like the highest quality, but because we're gonna be really adjusting it and altering it with shader effects that kind of doesn't even really matter. So the first thing you could do is just, just to get started in experimenting with Unicorn Studio and seeing how it interacts with video and otherwise, uh, is just to come over to effects and just start playing around with all these different effects. So for instance, I, maybe we wanna have a mouse trail. Well, when you click on that, here you go. There is your mouse trail. It interacts with your mouse. Obviously, you have all these different properties, the strength slider and, and the radius and all that good stuff. This isn't that fun, but this is the best way to go ahead and start learning and experimenting with it. So I'm going to delete that one. Um, if we come over here to effects once again, let's uh, try to recreate the initial, uh, one of the examples from the beginning of the video. So the first thing I'll do is I, if I type in noise up here, uh, the one we want to do is a noise blur. Um, and by the way, if this happens, just toggle on and off the eye visibility right here. Make sure that's at play. Now, sometimes it is a little bit finicky. So if I refresh the project, there we go. All right. So now we have our noise blur. So <laughs> this is incredibly awesome. Just seeing how much it has changed the original in a really cool abstract way uh, that would actually be very cool just as a background element, perhaps with some text sitting on top. In fact, let's add text just for the effect. So I'm gonna type in, uh, I don't know, something stupid and pointless like Synergy. All right, cool. So now one thing to understand is that based on these layers and the layer orders, obviously if we put the text underneath the noise blur, then that's what's gonna happen there too. Now notice noise blur has a little play button. Um, if you hit play, then the animation part of that particular effect will start to come into play. So we could maybe reduce this speed to make it a little bit more interesting, get that text back up out of there. And there we go, we've already created <laughs> a really cool abstract effect that's going to be very unique because we're using a video that's really moving it and making it change color and all this other crazy stuff. Um, let's try another one. So we can add uh, effects on top of each other. So if I do, for instance, a half tone. All right, let's choose that. <laughs> this is crazy. So the half tone, I uh, look over here. Obviously we have rotation, we have scale to make these things a lot bigger. I think maybe around there is fine. We have the mix channel, we're gonna leave 100. The gamma, I'm gonna turn down, there we go, because I don't like seeing all the white, kind of make it a little bit darker. Very cool. Um, let's also check out Another one, let's take our text and put it above there yet again still. Um, and let's also take our text, I'm gonna uh, 
duplicate that. So right click and duplicate. I'm just going to put uh, some text that says zero 01. There we go. We'll move that up. I just wanted to have something something with a little bit of texture back here. Maybe I'll put it like right. Yeah, well, we'll keep it like centered. Anyhow, um, and then what we can do is, again, you know, we don't have to use these like the, the half tone. That's kind of looking cool in and of itself, but we could still stand to do something at least a little bit more different. So let's also take the original video. We're going to duplicate it. I'm going to put it above everything now, but we can change the blend mode. So let's tr try soft light. <laughs> look at that. Now that's really changed the look and the feel of everything that we have. And it's actually kind of transformed it into this really cool, I guess you could say, most dynamic uh, video because of the overlay effect and how it's changing the color here subtly of the, uh, the type. I mean, it's a little bit much in terms of the overlapped effects, but man, is that super Cool. Here's another example. This time it's uh, using a noise, just a simple noise pattern with the scale pushed all the way up. Now what's cool is if I take the scale down, we actually get an entirely different effect, which looks super cool. And it really becomes like super dynamic. Notice this time, you know, it's re the video is not that long. It keeps repeating, but guess what? It's in different areas. Um, so that is super cool as well. This kind of like a lava effect almost. Here's another effect, which this is almost pretty much kind of like a mosaic effect. Let me refresh this. Uh, super cool, and that's done with the shatter effect right here. So if we change the scale, you can see kind of how it has these large, look at this, this is cool in and of itself as well. This is freaking awesome. I just love it, experimenting with these things. Here's another example with uh, what I call the blinds effect. Again, the frequency is the biggest one that's going to impact the aesthetic here. Look how cool that is. It's kind of like waves, kind of just moving along. Here are God rays, which basically take any of the light sources and really just pushes them out like in the bloom effect. Super cool there as well. We have uh, certain properties here such as spread, so this will really kind of kick it off. I kind of like it just a little bit more minimalistic like that. Intensity, of course. Wow. I haven't even really played around with the settings until right now. Exposure, really push it up and down. Oh, that is super cool. It kind of brings out a lot of like the uh, oranges. This is so amazingly fun. So we can drastically alter the color of what's happening through the gradient map. Um, and so the gradient map, obviously, if we click play, it's going to kind of run through the gradient colors. Uh, and over here, there's a bunch of predefined gradient presets. So if I choose like this bluish one um, with it in play mode, you can see we also have a speed option to where we can really slow down that or that process of where it's going between the different colors that are a part of that gradient to a lot less. Let's, <laughs> uh, let me turn on the glitch effect. This is so super cool. The gradient map, let me experiment with maybe a couple different colors. And then of course we have the glyph dither ability as well, which is super cool because I, with these effects, we can really increase the size of each of the glyphs or the characters or all the way down to like really tiny. Um, and we could also change what glyph set that we're using. And we have a mix option. We can make it monochromatic. Look at that with a color. So if we want it to be red, there we go. We have our red and it's just following the video. <laughs> that is so sick. So as you can see, tremendous opportunities now that we can integrate video and have it interact with the shaders that are a part of Unicorn Studio. So as always, make sure to subscribe. We're going to be keeping, covering a lot more of this stuff, um, especially in full project format soon. And so I will see you all very soon. Goodbye.